On this episode of World of Solitude, we are going to work on uh, finally building ourselves a place to live, build ourselves like a, a little modern house that we're going to have um, with our sleeping area up in like an observation tower. And then we are going to work on starting to finish filling in uh, the actual building for the auto sorting system. Uh, it's finally time for it to have its own building. And then we'll finish things off with uh, getting the last uh, few ponds all completely dug out and get them ready for the glow scout glass effects that are going to be coming through. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's just jump to it. After a great farming session for concrete supplies, now it's time to uh, work on some of the little building projects we've got kicking around on the base here. Um, I do have some like living quarters slash residential pods that I uh, want to work on getting built up in the city here, as well as um, we might start working on uh, construction around the area for our villager trading post. Um, try to get more villagers and stuff in there, try to get more books. I want to be able to eventually get all of the possible enchants that I can get. And then um, I got to work on uh, being able to get them uh, at their lowest selling points as well too so that we can you know maximize our emerald transition or transactions as we're, we're running along here so um, stay tuned as we um, start uh, working on some of these builds that are here okay so here we are behind me um, I've got started with uh, kind of a living quarter area that I want for the biodome here because I really actually don't have any living quarters for anybody. Um, so I'm going to do these little pod type things for for kind of a little bit of, you know, residential space, um, common rooms, that type of thing. And uh, I'm going to basically incorporate it into this hillside that's here. And um, yeah, we're going to just try to see how this all lays out. So bear with while we uh, get some of this concrete that I've gone and crafted up here. I've got a little bit of white concrete here. I've already put a bunch um, into storage right now as well and uh, we'll get these all filled in. Okay we've been making some serious progress now on these um, these little kind of living quarters or pods or whatever I'm gonna call them here. I'm just gonna finish clearing out this little section and we'll kind of run out here and have a look at how things are progressing. Um, just a quick reminder everybody you know now would be a good time to reach down hit the like button on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think of the build design um, so this build here 100 i have been just placing blocks and seeing how it's going i've not done this in creative first to kind of see what it would look like or how it would go together i just started slapping blocks together um, to get this to all kind of fit together so we are hoping that it's not going to be an absolute disaster. I'm going to put some concrete on the ground here just because it's a little difficult to try to walk through and get all this stuff busted out of here. So, But I've got a few of these pods all built in here and you can see the retaining wall that's over there. But um, I put an angled one up top that's, uh, that I think is actually turning out pretty good. So I just got to get this little section of blocks all busted out of here. And um, now I'm going to have to design some type of, of stairway to get up and down or elevator system or something to get up and down um, to the various floors of this. Because um, there is, like right now, obviously we're on the ground floor here right now. And then, as you can see, this steps down a bit to another one. And we've nearly got this all busted out of here now, so... A lot of the projects that I've got on the works now for here, it's all going to be like big time grind factor. Um, I've got to get the swamps done. Um, that we did, uh, we did one more pond digging it all out in live stream here the other day. So if you if you did catch that live stream, I appreciate you popping in and and saying hi during that that time period. And um, we're still just kind of plugging away at these, trying to get all this stuff all dug out and. Um, then there's the villager breeder that we've got to really kick in and get things, you know, optimized for villager breeding and the villager trading house 
Um, I think that's probably going to be the next major project diving into is getting that, getting that all taken care of. So just got to make sure I'm not taking out too many blocks here that I'm not supposed to take out. I guess really there's no rhyme or there's no no wrong way to do it when you haven't planned anything just start busting blocks and see what happens is really what it comes down to finish clearing this out and then it'll step properly for that next room which actually works out pretty decent i can live with that okay so we're just going to um slap in some concrete here and it's basically just kind of tying off the back end of this build i think this is going to be and maybe it's it'll be like my main residence type thing or uh instead of it being just a living quarter i think we could do it as like our our main actual residence gonna block that right up so that we've got just a a basic opening here and if we could try to match up both sides of this that would be the best thing well i don't know that looks that looks pretty darn even to me doesn't it oh, well we did a pretty good job of evening that up so uh we'll just build some you know proper stairs to get in and out of there so that it's easier to transition out of here and then uh we're just gonna fill this across like so and it'll tie that wall all together Seems how I actually haven't, this whole season, I haven't actually really had a house. We've had like the, the starter hole in the ground, uh, basically is what we were kind of living out of. And, um, you know, that's, you know, fine for an initial starter base, but not long-term facilities for sure. We're right at our maximum reach here. And I think this here, I'm going to carry it right across like this is like, it's a, an additional support beam. And then we'll carry these across like so. And then it's just a matter of getting some stairs or elevators put in um, to be able to get up to the various levels. And I think I'll put like a, a uh, observation tower or something in on this build. Of course, I've pretty much used up all the white concrete I made up. I made up a full inventory of white concrete um, before I went and started doing all this. And this is all I've got left is this little collection right here now. So we've been going through the white concrete and I'm just throwing torches down just to keep creepers. I've already had, I've got hostile mobs turned off right now. So, or the sound of it. Um, so I've had a creeper come through and sneak in behind me and, and blow things up on me a couple of times now. So I'm just going to fill in this corner. So it kind of matches this same motif over here. And we're falling in line with this setup. Is kind of the way we want to go and then I think I'll bring this down like so and it gives you know a bit of a room divider all in all I think that's that's coming along that's looking pretty decent okay but now I need to get outside and show you what it kind of looks like here now so let's just bust out some of this glass because I don't have any doorways in this thing yet and then we'll we'll go up on the upper level here and we'll have a look at it from the top level so Bear with me as we run through the start of this little tunnel system. This actually leads over to where our auto sorter system is. So I kind of changed things up over here a bit so that there's uh, an actual walkway to get through. And we'll head up past the bee breeding facility. And this is what we've got so far. There's some more glass and stuff that I've got to fill in over there. So down there is where we were just finishing. We've got like an angled pod up there. We've got these here. And uh, there's one more over on this side that we're gonna kind of bust through. And then um, I'll build some type of observation tower or something up on this. I don't know if I'll add any more pods for rooms and whatnot. I think anything else will kind of get built. Uh, we'll start adding in, introduce some more like right angles and stuff into the build to, to kind of tie it together so that they just don't look like a little pod that's dropped there. Um, but then some type of an observation tower with um, a, a nice lounge or something that's up on the top of it is what I'm going to go for. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. So when we come back, we'll have hopefully some kind of a tower up here. and We'll have that other uh, hole all dug out and uh, get the rest of this glass done. 
the vision is coming alive mind you it has taken me hours to get to this point um this is a absolutely ridiculous amount of work to be able to build this who knew um but um yeah the vision is is kind of coming alive we got a little bit of a a tower that we've built here we've mixed up some um gray concrete now and uh it's the observation point that i'm working on now for this so uh we are starting starting to to make a difference here it looks pretty dope behind us there um so yeah stay tuned while we continue building this this has literally been like hours of my life coming up with this design um i guess there is something to be said for for building something in a creative environment and not just you know winging it while you're building it here but um hey we're making progress so uh stay tuned Okay, guys, we have basically kind of got the footprint of our new little home here on the the World of Solitude server done. So uh, if you look behind me as I'm panning up to the distance, up there is the observation tower, and we'll just give you a better view of it. There we are there. Observation tower. We got the little pods down here for various rooms. There's a bubble vader that goes up to the top up there. I've placed my bed up there. And then I'm going to use these other rooms just for various different uh, storage facilities and stuff like that. So, um, but there's, yeah, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's seven rooms in total. I still don't actually have a door to get into this yet, but at least it's somewhat kind of there. I'm just kind of leaping through one of the windows there at the bottom right now. Um, but all in all, it's uh, it's coming together. Um, so now we're just going to kind of switch gears a little bit and um, work on trying to fill in some of the uh, buildings over here. I need to be able to get all of the redstone all covered up for the auto sorter. Uh, so we're going to quickly uh, pop, pile through getting that all taken care of. All right, we've switched over to the cam account to kind of show things as we've been progressing along here. Of course, we do have our tower set up here for the observation tower. And then we started filling in the build over here and um, uh, filling in our sorting system and stuff. Uh, the problem is now I've completely run out of andesite. Um, so I don't have any more polished andesite. And I've ran out of white concrete now as well too uh, for the framing of this building. But as you can see, we've got a fair amount. We've uh, blocked in the iron farm. It's going to get that white framing around it as well, too. And then we made it all the way to here. The only bit we have left to actually fill in is like this little chunk right here is what needs to be filled in. That's all we have left. And then um, to half slab the roof of this, we, do, we spawn protect it. And then, of course, I'll have to put some carpet on the top of this here edge so that we can spawn protect the white concrete as well but um all in all it's really come a long ways so um it's really starting to get that kind of finished look to it um i might actually consider tearing down um the afk station here now because there's lots of different places in here that i can actually afk to have the squid farm doing its thing um so having this little build kind of hanging out the side here just doesn't seem to make sense anymore at this point and we do have a pretty good stockpile of ink so i'm not even really worried about it i just don't want to tear this out because it is a really good centerpiece for our build so um we're just going to kind of keep that as it is for now um yeah so progress for the sake of progress we're we're getting there um so the other thing i want to get working on is uh kind of cleaning up this tunnel here a little bit and then I need to actually build a stairway or an entranceway into this house so we can have access to these various rooms that are here. And then, of course, finish off some of these rooms as well. So um, that's in the works here right away. Um, but all in all, I'm really liking how this has all turned out. Um, for me, not being much of a modern builder, this is this has been taking, you know, a, a, it, it actually, it's coming together quite well. It's It's been a lot of hard work um and uh but uh i will be looking forward to doing medieval builds again in the future but for now this has been this has been a fantastic little project so um i think we're gonna wrap up today's video uh, i'm gonna do a time lapse record of us digging out maybe one of the big ponds here and that's what's gonna be able to finish off the video so um let's just head over and uh, get started on getting that done
Oh, there's so much digging. Alrighty guys, we have done it. All of the ponds now have been completely dug out. Everything is all ready to go for our layers of concrete that we've got to do, or the, the concrete sides and base, black concrete, and then um, the green glass effect we've got to get filled into these areas. But all of this, it's taken hours and hours and hours. That's why this episode is so late getting done is I wanted to get all of these ponds all completely dug out. And that includes this one over here as well too, that leads down into this cave system that's under here um, that we have all completely dug out as well. So um, yeah, it was a ton of work. Bright side though is um, from this now, we do have some andesite that um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, you know, convert into being able to finish covering up our auto sorter here. Um, I have also spent some time making a little bit of, of black concrete. I've got a couple of shulker boxes worth of black concrete set aside now for when we finish off that outside. But all in all, I think andesite wise, let's just see out of all that digging that we did, how much andesite did we get? Oh, we got a, more than a double chest worth. So I'm unhappy with that. So that's definitely gonna be enough to be able to finish off the outside of this building. Um, I am gonna to have to make a bunch more white concrete. And um, now that we've, we've got the living quarters established, we can start to furnish it and move in. Um, I've even got, you know, a temporary, well, I got the hole knocked in the glass there and I started building uh, some way to actually get into the facility as well too. So that's all coming in the next episode. Um, so things to look forward to in the next episode is we're going to get this. This building is going to be completely buttoned up and finished. I want it top layered on. Uh, we're going to get it spawn protected. We're going to get the rest of the andesite completed. Um, we are, uh, we're going to get that area, our living quarters furnished. And um, yeah, like things are moving along. And then of course the ghost glass effects we are going to get done on those ponds. I want on the next episode, the wasteland is pretty much, it's going to be done. Um, we're going to have other than maybe some cosmetic things with some like dead bushes or something that we go and plant out there. Um, but it's pretty much, we are going to have it all finished and we're just going to take advantage of this little bit of a, as the sun's coming up here, catching the, the light of the tunnels coming through and uh, seeing our build here as we are progressing. And this dome just looks amazing when the sun's coming up. Like it just, the color of it looks so fantastic. So we'll leave with this and um, guys, leave a comment on the video, subscribe if you liked it, if you haven't already and leave a comment and let me know what you think of the build or if you have any um, other build ideas and stuff that we could add inside the dome. So uh, with that said, guys, have yourself a good one and we will catch you next episode.